What's going on guys? It is now lunchtime. I am again rocking the Water Jug Fitness hoodie. It's because it's a little chilly outside. We like to keep the door open right now. Or not the door, you know, the screen door. Let the fresh air in, but since it's been getting cold here in Ohio, it's a little chilly in here. Anyways, to the fridge to get the meal. So I'm gonna need one of these. I'm not sitting down because I'm not gonna be able to grab all that chili. So I'm gonna eat one of the acorn squashes and then I'm gonna have some chili. So I have my little meal ready now. I have, you know, two ladlefuls as my measurement, <laughs> ladles of chili and an acorn squash. I'm actually heading to my brother-in-law and sister's house right now. I'm gonna heat that up over there and eat it over there as I talk with my brother-in-law about some water jug fitness business stuff. So like, he has owned and sold a company so he understands you know, what needs to be done uh, when starting up a business. So I rely kind of on him sometimes for his guidance and his knowledge and he helps me for free, so I like that. Um, I'm gonna meet with him, talk with him here in about 20 minutes, which I'll bring you guys back for. I'll introduce him into this channel so you guys can see, because he is helping me. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. This is Shane, my brother-in-law. I told you I was gonna bring him on and introduce him. He is what I consider my mentor, if he considers it or not. <laughs> but he's helped me a lot with water jug fitness stuff. He's owned a company, sold it, and now he has bold zebras and the other one. Box checked. I'm box checked. Bold zebras is the one that is, you know, I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'll let you talk about it. He's gonna talk about it. <laughs> You're doing a great job. You, you should really consider, you know, call Conan O'Brien and be like, hey, my name's uh, Jeff and I am going to take your job because I'm good at interviewing. So we're going to sip a monster. So I've been trying to help Jeff with, you know, things around turning Water Jug Fitness into a business, right? He's had a lot of success over the last year, year and a half at, you know, driving lots of uh, people, helping people with their gain some size, you know, do some cutting, that type of stuff. And so he's really just decided to embark and do it as a business. So. That's what my background is. I've been helping him with silly things like spreadsheets and QuickBooks and you know how to get paid, you know, yeah. things like that. Yeah, things that Make bring, him, put food on the table. Yeah, reminding <laughs> him that he has to charge for different services because at the end of the day, you know, four thousand calories a day it costs money and Jeff needs money. See guys, I want to give you stuff for free. He won't allow it. It's all my fault. So yeah, I definitely uh, enjoyed though watching the growth, right? You'll be a hundred or a million views in your one video here pretty soon. Yeah, You've got it's at nine hundred thousand views. It's yeah, pretty cool. You got twenty something thousand. Twenty eight thousand, yeah. I mean, these it's are coming. pretty big. It's growing. Numbers. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. So like I, I said, and I and I I can't say it enough, but I owe a lot to him because you know I mean you were there when we came up with the name, and you know when it comes down to buying a domain, like I don't uh, you know when I told you guys that I might create a series on you know how to start you know a small business. I mean he has all of that knowledge that I try to tap into because I wouldn't have thought about getting the domain right away, um, you know, registering all this type of stuff, getting the website, getting a blog, like all these things that go into a business, I didn't really have that knowledge um, and I was able to look for free services from him. He doesn't charge. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm telling you to charge, but I don't charge. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the family discount. All, all my other endeavors oh, yeah. I do charge. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and then I am also a uh, up and coming YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite uh, this level, but I do uh, different technical content. So SharePoint, Office 365, Azure, PowerShell, which is probably all really boring to you guys. It means nothing to you probably. But I need subscribers. So if you'd like but, to, you know, just go out there and click the subscribe button for me, I'd really appreciate it. I had to I had to do it because obviously he's helped me out so much. So yeah, go check out his channel. You probably won't be as interested in it as you are as this stuff. It, you might not be interested in this stuff very much, but like some videos, check out his content, subscribe. It would mean a lot. Um, I don't know. Do we have anything else? 
No, well, that's, you know, I think maybe next time I come on, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, getting started. Like you, you kind of help people on getting started, you know, things like talking about the Yeti mic and oh, yeah. I've got the arm coming, you know, the camera. I'm the using camera. The, st the standing yeah. desk. Which cameras to, you know, which cameras I started off with, you know, because I didn't start off with the, right now I'm using the 70, the Canon 70D, but I started off with, you know, a Sony camcorder. Uh, I didn't buy the most expensive camera right away. Like you can start, I mean, you could start with your, I don't have my I mean, a lot of people start off with, you know, the iPhone, which you can do, but, you know, audio quality, you know, obviously as you grow, you need to also up your production um, quality as well, so. You know, the same thing, deal with, like, software, right? So I'm still using Camtasia. You've moved yeah. to something a little more advanced than Camtasia. Yeah, Cyberlink. So I've used to, I moved to, like, you know, an actual video editor program. But when I first started, started the channel, I used Camtasia, which was a, I think I had, like, a trial of it or a free, a free trial of it um, at the time. So, yeah, I mean... If you guys want to hear us talk about that stuff, if you think it would be helpful to maybe create, you know, a five, ten minute video every few weeks on this type of stuff, I would be more than happy to do that. I think he would be more than happy to do that. And I think it would be some helpful content. So let me know. Always leave feedback. Quit hitting my desk. Can only handle 35 pounds. Probably shouldn't set these, you know, these bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> Easy on them. Easy on them. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have. For right now, is that all you got? Yeah, cool. You want to plug anything else? No, uh, you know, giving you free stuff is a full-time <laughs> job. I can't really afford to do too much. <laughs> all right, we're not plugging anything else. So about an hour before my workout, I'm taking a whey protein shake because I needed to eat something. And then an hour later, I'm taking my pre-workout. This is right before the gym, about a half hour. I'm taking one scoop of supercharge and two scoops of dextrose, and that's my pre-workout. And then getting into this workout, it was a chest and tricep workout. I'm not gonna talk about each exercise and how many you know reps and sets. I'll put all of that in, in the description. What I really wanted to talk about in this workout is your mentality when you get into the gym, your ego which you need to leave at the door. And this honestly will probably be more of a message for some of uh, the new gym goers, some of you experienced guys, you already know this. You know, it's, okay, I'm in the gym now, I need to push as much weight or squat as much weight, whatever you're trying to do um, as possible. And the form goes out the window because I need to push so much weight because I need to show other people that I can lift this much. That mentality needs to go. You're gonna end up hurting yourself or you're not gonna end up making the progress that you could make if you just dropped, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 pounds and did the, the workout properly with proper form or, you know, isolation and you hit the muscle you're actually trying to hit. Uh, I talk to people all the time and I'm like, you know what guys, I don't care if I'll sit there and curl 30 pound weights, uh, 40 pound weights and someone's sitting right next to me doing uh, 60 or 70, yes, I'm trying to, you know, do more, but I'm not going to, you know, swing my body into all of my exercises and neglect my biceps or neglect my triceps for that matter if I'm doing tricep pushdowns or, you know, again, squats, bench presses, all those types of things. And don't get me wrong, I used to do that. I used to come into the gym and be like, I'm going to push so much weight, you know, I'm going to try to out rep and all of these things. And it didn't lead to that great of results. And I'm not saying don't push yourself. You should certainly push yourself, but don't try to compete with people in there if you can't, you know, do that type of weight. You know, do you have to have perfect form every time? No, but on those sets and on those reps and those exercises where I don't have, you know, great form, I do drop sets and supersets so that I make sure I am hitting that muscle. So that's really all I wanted to say. Again, the full workouts with reps and exercises are in the description, so check it out. But that's going to wrap up this commentary portion. And then I'll just get back to some more meals. So make sure to keep watching. Already had my post-workout shake about 20 minutes ago-ish. So I'm hungry. I'm going to go ahead and heat up my post-workout meal. Or you could call it my dinner because that's what it is. So I have some chicken and some rice and some ground turkey and some steamable veggies and I'm gonna heat this up on the stove let me just show it to you
So for my post-workout meal, I have two pieces of the chicken skewers. I have about half a bag of the Asian medley vegetables. I have one egg. I have about a cup and a fourth of brown rice, of cooked brown rice. And then I have a cup of ground turkey. And then I just use salt and pepper for seasoning. Sometimes I'll use Cholula, sometimes I'll use Frank's Red Hot. But today I was just feeling some salt and pepper. Okay, it's time to eat again. I'm gonna have a smoothie and I'll probably have a little bit of chili and a little bit of acorn squash as well. And that's it for the smoothie. I'm gonna drink that and then I will uh, make the chili or heat up the chili and the acorn squash but I wanna drink this. First. All right guys, so I finished up the smoothie and now I'm about to have some chili and I'm also gonna eat an acorn squash. I'm about to eat the last meal, which is my bedtime snack. But before I do, I quickly wanted to talk about the new uh, videos I have coming out. So I'm starting to do uh, more and more videos each week. I'm gonna do the meal prep still. I'm gonna do the vlogs. I'm gonna do workouts, but I'm gonna try to do more of them and maybe, you know, tweak them and make them a little bit different just to see how you guys like them. You know, I love when you guys leave your comments and it really helps when you leave, you know, constructive criticism as well. Uh, if you didn't like something and you tell me why maybe you didn't like it or how I can make it better, I try to incorporate that because it's just gonna make these videos better, uh, most likely for other people. They don't wanna say it, or maybe they just um, didn't say it. So, you know, don't feel like you have to hold back in the comments. If you don't like something, let me know. But, you know, if you do it in a positive and you know, respectful manner or constructive, I can build off that. And I do thank you for it. You know, it's, I don't take them offensive. Now, if you just like, oh, this video sucks, well, I, I can't do anything with that. So, if you make it constructive, I appreciate it. You know, I can work off it. I appreciate all your guys' comments. So, um, and then I also might do another reading mean comments video. Just because those are funny, like I think it's funny, and I'm just trying to show a little lighter side. So, to that, to that negative. So, let me know if you guys want to see that. But I'm gonna make this last meal, this bedtime snack. I got some cottage cheese. I'm gonna get some frozen fruit. And I'm actually gonna have an apple with some peanut butter as well. Peanut butter. So, let's make it up. So that is the bedtime snack. I have half a cup of low-fat cottage cheese, half a cup of 4%. I have three-quarter cup to a cup of frozen fruit. I have an apple with a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now, if you don't like cottage cheese, because I get in my comments a lot that some people don't like cottage cheese, I personally love cottage cheese. If you don't like cottage cheese, you could do a casein shake which is just a protein shake, you could do that. Or you could do some yogurt, but try to like find, you know, low sugar, low carb yogurt. Um, you could do some string cheese, stuff like that. So those are some different options for you. I hope it helps. But again, I'm gonna eat this. That was the last meal for today. I'm gonna put the calories right over here. And like I was saying, please leave feedback. Let me know what you guys thought. It always helps, I always appreciate it. And that's all I have. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.